Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run. Today on the Doc on the Run podcast, we're talking about a common fracture missed by the Ottawa Ankle Rules. I was recently given a lecture at a medical conference in Seattle, and I was given a talk called Conservative Treatment of Ankle Sprains in Runners Who Want to Run. And of course, this was me teaching physicians what I do with ankle sprains and and what I think they need to do to get runners back to running as quickly as possible instead of just doing the standard ankle sprain protocols with their patients. And one of the things I was talking about in this talk was a study that I did on a kind of injury called a lateral process fracture. Now, it's not really important what that is, uh, but it's actually just under your ankle bone on the outside of your ankle. And the lateral process of the talus is something that can get broken in what's known as a snowboarder's fracture. And when I was in residency, I did a big study that actually won an award from the American College of Foot and Ankle Surgeons, where we actually found that the, those particular fractures were 10 times more common than previously reported in the medical literature. So that's why we won this award. But basically, the Ottawa ankle rules are a set of rules that were come up with in Canada to reduce people from getting unnecessary ankle x-rays when they have an ankle sprain and they go to the emergency room. And it turns out if you follow the Ottawa ankle rules, which basically give you four places to push on in the foot where the doctor examines you and pokes on four places, that if you don't have pain on any of those four places and you can walk four steps in the emergency department, then there's basically a 97.5% sensitivity for ankle fracture. So that means that if you can walk four steps and they push on these four places, there's about a 98% chance you don't have a fracture. But the problem is, first of all, is again, the study that we did showed that this lateral process fracture is 10 times more common than previously thought, and certainly 10 times more common than what was reported when they came up with the Ottawa ankle rules. The other thing is that I have seen patients that had um, the Ottawa ankle rules followed who did not have any pain when you push on those places where they actually can walk, and yet they still have a lateral process fracture that gets missed. So you want to make sure that you know your doctor is really looking for it, and the, what you, your indicator is, is that you should be suspicious is that you still have pain. So if you have an ankle sprain, you're not getting better, and your doctor says, oh, you couldn't have a fracture, we'd use the Ottawa ankle rules then have them look at it again. And it, because if you push right on the lateral process fracture and it hurts, then you should be very suspicious. There are a couple of different things that actually could indicate you have one of these fractures. And also, if your foot x-rays are slightly rotated and you can't see the lateral process, it gets missed very easily. So if you're having pain, it's not getting better, you really suspect that something else is wrong, ask your doctor to do an MRI or CT scan so that you can get better imaging, more thorough imaging, and make sure you don't have one of these missed fractures. If you found this helpful, please like it, share it, send it to one of your running buddies so that they can find out more about running injuries as well, and I'll see you in the next training. Doc on the Run. We help injured runners run.